right, we are halfway through those magazines of electronics. True story. We are halfway through the second of two falls. Um, big day today. Uh, Got to get a bunch of stuff planted and make more kegs. And that's really it. That's all we're going to be doing. Now that we've finished the, the museum um, and we only have Kent left to gift, really, it's just monster hunting and kegs are the two things I'm going to be doing. So today we've got to plant all, replant the star fruit on Ginger Island, quickly get back to Stardew Valley, replant the second pumpkin batch, and then with whatever time we have left, we will work on kegs. That is the plan. Hey, Belgian Waffles here. What's up, Belgian Waffle? How are you doing? I'm looking forward to Wednesday. Next Wednesday. All right, quick check of things. Stardew Fair tomorrow. Right, don't care about that. The luck today is... Bad luck. Perfect day to do some, some planting. And Elliot's doing his book reading. And Pam sent me a beer that I'm going to sell. And the fair happens tomorrow at 9 a.m. All right, so... Not too much vibing. Excellent, excellent. All right. Let's plant some starfruit. Grab the banana. My mod tabbed you out the other day. She thought you were a bot. <laughs> That's funny. That that is the yolks. I missed some fertilizer there. Whoops, do I have any fertilizer here? Nope. Crap. Oh well. Time to go. That's okay. What kind of username is Paul TGG, anyways? Doesn't even make sense. You know, it is funny. The funny thing about bots on Twitch is I don't get why so many why so many people use them just for like random stuff. I don't understand what the purpose is. Because there's so many, like even right now in my chat, I have at least two. There's usually always two or three bots in my chat. I'm like, what are they all doing? And why? And who cares? So I don't get it. No, I got it. So I must remember to bring some more fertilizer back to Ginger Island because there's that one spot that I missed. Which is rather unfortunate. I heard what sounded like me refilling a watering can. Maybe there was like fish jumping or something. Anyway, so interesting story. Or I mean, I say interesting. But, um... So last night I was watching some Olympics coverage. Olympics, that is. And, um... I was watching some table tennis. And these table tennis people are just incredible. Um, and I found it really interesting because I, I always used to think to myself, like, I wonder if I could compete in the Olympics with, in, the, in a certain event. Obviously not in every event, but, like, th th I figure there's got to be, like, an event somewhere I could compete in the Olympics. So. And then I was watching table tennis and realizing, no, there is literally nothing I could, there was nothing, even when I was in my, my fittest and primest and youngest and whatever, there would be absolutely no way I would have made it in the Olympics. Because, um... Watching table tennis made me realize that, like, these dudes, all of them, every last Olympic athlete is a, com is a complete cut above the average human being. And table tennis, that fact is on display. Because you think, like, oh, rowing. I could row a boat. You know, I could, I could, uh, you know, I did some hurdling when I was a kid. You know? But, yeah, it was just interesting. Because, I mean, like, so there's this one particular thing I'm watching. These guys are, you know, hitting back and forth, like, you know, two, three, four times a second the ball's going back and forth. Last four times, three, three times a second the ball's going back and forth. Let me say that again. For those of you in the back. It's three times a second. It's crazy. And there's this one particular shot that happened. I'm just kind of watching the ball go back and forth, and then somebody scores a point. 
And, uh, and then the commentator said, oh, you could see how um, this person did, they kind of faked like they were going to hit one shot, and then at the last second switched to hit a different shot, and that confused the opponent and allowed the person to score, allowed that team to score a point. And I'm thinking, okay, these guys are hitting back and forth three times a second. How would you have the time to think to yourself, I'm going to hit one shot. No, I'm going to hit another shot now. And then be able to execute that other shot in a quarter of a second. Like, and that's when you realize that all Olympic athletes in their respective fields are at that level. They're at the kind of level where it's like the mere mortals and average humans such as myself cannot even begin to comprehend. I mean, they make it look easy, but that's kind of the point, is they make it look easy. Except for ping pong. Ping pong looks hard. Um, but anyways, shout out to uh, Olympic athletes. Another funny story from Canada's Olympic Games this year. Um, <laughs> literally only one ping pong is hardcore badminton. What's up, Tifo? Tifo? Um, yeah, ping pong is, is pretty hard. Ping pong is hardcore, period. Um, Another interesting fact from the Olympics this year, um, so from for Canada's Olympics, <laughs> the only medals that Canada has won that have not been won by a women, not been won by the women, are the two medals that sprinter Andre de Grasse has won. Silver in the silver in the 100, bronze in the 100, gold in the 200, something like that. Um, our women's team, we're both kicking ass and taking names. Um, which made me sad in some ways to think about the fact that, you know, they're still not gonna they're still not gonna get any sponsorship love compared to the men and stuff. It's kinda sad. But um Yeah. Pretty incredible stuff happening with the with the women's uh, with with the Canadian women at the Olympics this year. So that's pretty sweet. Anyways, other than that, how's everybody doing? Olympics aside, I've been watching a lot of the Olympics. Not a lot of the Olympics, but I try to watch a little bit every day. The problem for me is that um, Tokyo is... Actually, it's not too bad. Tokyo is about 16 hours ahead of me. And... Um, okay, I'm gonna just give me a second. I'm gonna write down that I need to... I'll just put it here, I guess. Take Deluxe Speed Grow to... GI for one star fruit spot. Okay. Um, yeah, so Tokyo is 16 hours ahead of me. Which means that the coverage doesn't, the live coverage doesn't start until 4 o'clock in the afternoon, because that's 8 o'clock in the morning in Tokyo. So, um, yeah, it's been, uh, Trying to like watch little bits and pieces over supper. When a place becomes a target for jokes, like said places, women's athletes look like men. That was nothing. I didn't realize they actually do testosterone testing. I, I thought that was like I didn't realize that was. I don't know if they do it generally, but because apparently, and I don't remember the details of it, but apparently there was a woman whose testosterone level was too high to compete in a certain event but it was not too high to compete in another event. It's weird. I don't know. Testosterone testing? Yeah. It's weird. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Let's cut the screen. All right. Got my second batch of pumpkins. I don't want to make, make moves. Oh, I need to... Oh, I did already. Okay. Need to make moves on some kegs. Get some more kegs going. Why do I keep missing these spots? It's making me sad. I don't trust these weeds either. Oh, I forgot to turn on my animation cancelling. There we go. Whoops, that's not pumpkin seeds. I 
But anyway, how's everybody else doing? How's everyone? Uh, for those of you who are just joining, uh, next, I'll uh, say it again, next Wednesday I'm going to be playing Overcooked. The Overcooked All You Can Eat Edition. Uh, doing another stream with it's, it's blah, doing another stream with it's Belgian waffle. So tune in next Wednesday for that. That's going to be something other than other than else. That's you. Yeah, it is. I look forward to it, dude. We're gonna, it's gonna be a good time. Young compares the Olympics. Yo, did you see the skateboarding? There was a which skateboarding competition was it where like. The oldest medal winner was 19. One was 19, one was 13, and one was 12. And they're winning Olympic medals in skateboarding. Did you guys see that or hear about that? Incredible. We'll see me put more things on fire. I mean, sometimes I gotta put things on fire, you know? So, like I say, it was not called Undercooked. That was insane. Man, that was incredible to see that. Wow, can you imagine? What was I doing at 12 years old? Nothing. Or the sharpshooting? I remember, I vaguely remember something about the sharpshooting. Vaguely. Alright, sweet. We've got some more stuff to smelt. Uh, let me see, can I make, just make six kegs right now? I can. I was checking with the casual stance, literally staying sideways with a hand in her pocket. And I, oh, that one I saw, yeah. That one. Well, I saw um, Parity 16 going on 17. I saw a picture of it, and I'm kind of looking at it going like, wow. Like, I have fired a gun in my life. And that girl is just like. putting mortals to shame. Okay, um, so we have replanted everything we're going to replant today. Got to get more kegs. Uh, but I can't because I don't have more, I need more stuff. Let's go do some smelting or something. 14-year-old gymnastics. Well, that's the thing. The gymnastics thing, I, well, I guess because the gymnast, I've been exposed to more gymnastics over the course of my life. Um, in terms of, like, watching it on TV and stuff. I mean, not actually doing it, of course. But, um... The gymnastics thing, I get to a degree because, you know, when you're, when the older you get, the more your center of gravity changes, especially for women. So, makes sense. Pet the pig. Uh, let's go to... Then all the gun people ridiculing her for improper use of the weapon, like she got gold, I think she knows what she's doing. I know, right? It's like, hey, you're not at the Olympics, she is, give her a break. Um... But yeah, when your center of gravity changes, it messes with your center of gravity. Um... Crap, I should have put in the iridium. Oh, well, next time. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was incredible to see. It was pretty incredible. Anything not the quarry? No. How about if I go to... I guess I could gift Kent. Let's go back home. While we smelt some stuff, let me find something for Kent. Anyways, Olympic athletes are incredible. Go make another, whatchamacallit. When one gets bothered in school but has experience shooting arrows. Yeah, archery is, is wild too, to be honest. Archery is... A wild sport. I don't know. I haven't done much sport. I've done a little bit of track and field. Um, that's about it, really, in terms of, like, Olympic sports. I mean, aside from, like, you know, playing basketball and team sports like that. But, um, but yeah. Olympic athletes. Incredible. So we should be at nine hearts with Kent. We are excellent. Move, Jody. All right, so we've gifted Kent. 
What else am I doing? I guess I could go... So Fall 21, I want to do a Skull Cavern run. Deploy the Tear Gas. What's up, Raven? How you doing? Thanks for the sub. Uh, I guess I could just go and get more. What do I need more of right now? Wood. Let me just do a quick check in Cinder Sap and see if there are any trees I can cut down. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven trees, but they're kind of all over the place. Right now I can make 10, 11, 12 more kegs. Probably not going to have 12 oak resin tomorrow. So, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um... Hey, pumpkin stuff. Um, 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 I don't know. Let's do some stuff here. Let's get organized so that stuff can go to the desert. Um, the apple I might just sell. And the clay. And let's go over to the greenhouse. I should really move the greenhouse. Maybe in the winter I'll move the greenhouse. Uh, let's drop off the starfruit seeds, grab a deluxe speed grow. Huh. Got, don't have deluxe speed grow. Okay, I'll just take the hyper speed grow then, why not? Um, okay, don't know why I have pumpkins here. Enjoyed soccer, dodgeball, and street hockey in high school. Yeah, I never played much soccer. I wish I had played more of it, but I never actually played that much soccer. There should be a way to automate this. Automate what? What am I automating? Because there might be. Ooh, we got to get some wine finishing here, okay. That, ah, that's actually good. Planting soil. Oh, I see, yeah, the fertilizer. You can. Um, you can get a certain, you can get a fancy sprinkler and then put the fertilizer in the sprinkler and then the sprinkler fertilizes everything. The problem is to get the fancy sprinkler or the fancy sprinkler attachment is just too much. It's more work than it's worth. So. All right, so we got some wine finishing. That's good. Um, we just need to, um, what do we need to do? Something. I can't remember. Whatever it is, we need to do a lot of it. All right, one thing I do need to do is find out when this is going to finish. So today's the 15th. Let's go to the crop planner. If on the 15th, I plant star fruit, this is spring, I plant star fruit with deluxe speed grow, it will finish on the 24th. Okay, so by the 24th, Fall 24, GI star fruit done. Okay. I uh, gotta make sure we do that. Uh, we also planted pumpkins on the. We planted. What's going to fall? Pumpkins on the 15th. They should be done on the 28th. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not going to forget, obviously, hopefully, anyways, but we'll say Fall 28, Harvest, Farm. Um, now here's a question. When is my next batch of pumpkins done? Play, playing defense in soccer was interesting. Um, when did I plant the last batch of pumpkins? I don't know. Was it like on the 6th or something? Hold on a second, let me find out. Let me go to my YouTube channel. Look at my playlists. Look at my Stardew Perfection Challenge playlist. And let's go back, I don't know, a couple of days, a couple, couple of streams. So this is the fourth. Okay, so let me go back to the beginning of this. Uh, 
Uh, this tenth. So I would have replanted on the tenth. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, so we plant on the tenth with deluxe speed grow. Then it's on the nineteenth. Okay, and then I have to plant on the nineteenth. And that will finish on the 28th. All right, so fall 16. So fall 19. Um, fast pumpkins are done. Must replant that day. Must replant that day. Quite literally cannot do anything but replant that day. Because if we don't replant that day, the pumpkins won't be done. Um, before the end of fall and I'll lose out on the harvest. Speaking of which, I see a seed I didn't plant, or a spot I didn't plant, there we go. Quick check of everything else, make sure it all looks good, looks good to me. Okay, so, uh, I guess we could, let's go grab some hardwood. Um, see if we can, you got a couple more heavy tappers. Or one more heavy tapper at least. Hit the keyboard there, I couldn't move over any farther. And I think I will go to um, the secret wood to get a bit more hardwood. And I'll pick these trees off on the way, or this tree at least. There we go. Oh, there's another tree. Alright. Keep an eye out for slimes. Exciting going on with y'all. So I got 42, so I can make one more heavy tapper, so let's go do that. There's a slime in there somewhere. Just working all the time lately? Nice. Good to be gainfully employed. Doing good. Two toes finally healed those splits from a month ago. Excellent, excellent. Glad you're on the mend. I had to take the afternoon off work today to go get my MRI. And let me tell you, it's bad timing. <laughs> it's just been really busy at work, so it's like, I felt bad kind of... And like, two of my co-workers are on vacation right now, so it's like, we're a little short-staffed. But it's okay. It was just for an afternoon, so whatever. Um... What was I doing? Oh, Heavy Tapper. Do you love the music option for that test? Yeah, it was sweet. He, like, the guy just sort of said, what kind of music do you want to listen to? And I was like, uh... What, what am I even going to say? So I decided to go with, with classical just to be safe. Okay, so I have another Tapper. Can I put it somewhere? Right there, perfect. No dubstep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, they must have had like a had like a playlist or something, or like Sirius XM or something. I don't know. Um, ooh, okay. Right. Starfruit wine, six thirty. Ooh. Hope I have time. Let's find out. All right. So let's take this, and then we'll take that just to be safe. Let's head to the quarry. Um, what's the fastest way to the quarry? Probably this way. I'm gonna sell some stuff while I'm here. Okay. Let's make some money. Well, we actually be, I'll be interested to see how much money I make, um, 
this go around. Nice, here we go. Now we're talking. Alright, let's do this. It looks like the entire quarry synced up too, so that's going to make life a bit easier. Let me know if I miss one. This is, this is what it all comes down to. This entire run comes down to whether or not I have enough kegs to make enough money to get the golden clock. That's literally all it comes down to. So I still need to make more kegs. But, uh... I mean, this is it right here. Enough to get the whole town hammered? Oh, you have no idea. That one keg on the way back. Oh, we're trapping. <laughs> Do the remix of this uh, the sound effects. I actually made myself a Stardew Valley, um, some Stardew, some Stardew ringtones. So now when my phone rings, I've got Stardew Valley stuff going on. And for, like, notifications and my alarm to wake me up in the morning and stuff. Okay. Back to the house. So we've got 313 so far. So not having a website isn't enough. Just make ringtones. Well, I had, um... Well, I guess I'll put these guys in. I had, uh, Mario ringtones that I made. Um, out of fuel to the fire. Um, oh, with dogs in the way. Move, dog. Move, dog. I had some Mario ringtones. Um, this is not organized very well, but whatever. Mouse hit the keyboard again. I have time to do it all. What are you up to? 400 starfruit wine, that's excellent. Sweet, we've got through all of our regular quality starfruits. I'll turn my organ tune into a cell ring tune. Okay, there we go. Dog's still in the way, that's alright. We'll just walk through the dog. Grab a couple of them diamonds. Um, I'm gonna grab this beer out of here. And we're gonna sell this. I'm not gonna refill it with beer yet because I'm gonna need those tomorrow for coffee. So 464, that's worth a good chunk of change right there. Sell the beer, sell that. Um, Keeping these diamonds from Maru. I'm not going to need all of them, but I can always sell them later. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need 30 diamonds. But uh, just to be safe. Just to be safe, we're going to make sure we... Uh, don't mess that up. Um, Put those on my person. Got that there. That's great. So it's 11.30. I should get back to the mine and, and refill some furnaces. Anyways, yeah. So I got some Saudi ringtones. Um, I remember back in the day when you had to, like, pay for ringtones? I remember many moons ago with my, with my, I think it was my first flip phone. Like, this was probably 20 years ago or something, give or take. Um, well, maybe a bit less than that, maybe like 15 years ago, 15, 20 years ago. And, uh... I remember having to like download the software, download like the um, some software someone had stolen from the phone vendor, 
um, load onto the computer, open up my phone to be able to access the files on my computer, or on my, on my phone, to be able to copy over wallpaper and, and uh, um, you know, my, my own MIDI file ringtones. It's a simpler time. Oh, I see another of those. This is good. I'm going to get that in the cask tonight. Anything over here I care about? I do need to get back here pretty quick. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's go to the mine. We'll put some iron in the furnaces. We'll get back to the house. Um, put this keg down. Fill my... Uh, my monitor keg. There we go. Uh, bus stop. Anyways, yeah, it was similar. And now you can just like, and and now I would just literally made some MP3s and copied them to my to my phone, and bam, it's crazy. It's crazy. Should I do this right now? I probably should. Let me put this keg down first. That's kind of more important. There we go. And then I'll put the truffle oil in. And for some reason that keg hasn't popped yet. It might pop in the morning, maybe. We'll have to see. Uh, okay, I left 140, can I, uh, 150? Nah, I won't bother trying to sell. I was gonna go and sell my, sell a couple things, but that's alright. I'll survive. Nice, 1.4 million. Huge. Huge gains right there. So, let's have a look at this here. Let's, let's do some estimating and see if it looks like this might be possible. So, today is the, what is it? The 15th of fall. Um... We just made 1.4 million. So I should make 1.4 million every week for the rest of the year. So, so I'm going to make, so let's include this week. So that's going to be 3 million, 6 million, 9 million. So we're getting close because again, I got to spend a bunch of this money. I have to spend probably at least a half a million at least a half a million on seeds. Because I'll have to do a bunch more starfruit harvests. I think I have... How many more, how many more do I have? Uh, when does it finish next? On the 24th. So 15th, 24th. Okay, so it's fall. 15, 24. Let's clear the year. And then, so it's down a week and over two days. So we go down a week and uh, fifth, down a week, 14th. So one, two, down a week, three. So we have three more. So that, that I'm going to have to, that's three more harvests, which means I need three more batches of, no, wait, hold on. That's not right. Planted on the 15th, right? Yes. Yes, plant on the 15th. So harvest on the 24th. Got to plant on the 24th. Plant on the 5th. That's two. Plant on the 14th. That's three. Plant on the 16th. No, plant on the 23rd. That's four. So that's going to be roughly, well, what, 240,000 apiece. So that's going to be roughly a million right there. I got to spend on starfruit. Um, so that's not great. But I'm gonna make nine million. I'm gonna make at least nine million from the kegs, so that's eight million. And then whatever starfruit I have left over, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sell starfruit pumpkins. Whatever I have left is just gonna get sold. So if I can, you know what? I think I might be able to pull this off. I think I might be able to pull. I'm starting to believe. With all the extra kegs I'm, I'm getting, I'm starting to believe a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm starting to believe that this just might be doable. 
All right, I'm gonna leave that starfruit. Well, I'll grab it. I'm not gonna put starfruit in there just yet. Um, because I want to get this stuff. I want. Well, I'm probably. I might just put some coffee in it. All right. What do we have? We've got. Ooh, nice guy. This is actually awesome. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sneaks decaf in. We got 12. 12 oak resin. Ah, 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 ah. Whoops, that was a cock up. Got so happy with the oak resin, I took that out by accident. That's a reset on that one. Okay, I'm actually, I might just grab, I think there's like some row or something done over here too, isn't there? Oh, I just heard a truffle drop. Just take the shortcut. Why have I not been drinking triple shot? There we go. Okay, so we got 10. Can I make 10? Oh, I can make 12. Nice. Beautiful. That count choke. Oh, let me go grab the um, cafe from the... Whatchamacallit? Greenhouse. Web dog. Alright. Uh, nothing in here is... No, no star fruits ready anyways. Coffee we need. Okay. I don't have anything I want to leave there, do I? No, I don't think so. Alright, so now what we're going to do... I mean, I'm gonna, I've got 12 kegs, actually. So this sh should be enough to process all of my coffee all at once. Then once the coffee is done, I'll um, put starfruit wine in all these. Ooh, there's some more wine out over there. I might actually leave that stuff for a day just to kind of sync things up a little bit more. Don't know if I should, but like I say, I'm starting to think that I might be able to pull this off, so I'm a little bit less worried than I was previously. Uh, you know what? I didn't want to organize them like that, today. No, I did not. Yo, dog, I hurt you. Okay, so... Oh! Oh, n I'm an idiot. I refilled those kegs and I wasn't supposed to. Damn it. Crap. Okay, well, whatever. That was st crap. So annoying. So friggin' stupid. Oh well, that's, uh, whatever that is. Money wasted. Didn't notice my watch was down to a quarter power. Uh, alright, so let's do the coffee. Throw in the honey to make mead, like so. So lasted several days without charging. Nice. What? Which, which, which watch do you have? Words. Which watch? Which watch? Uh, okay, so that looks good. Let's throw a truffle in the oil maker, and let's just sell stuff. I will keep a bit of starfruit on me, so hopefully I won't forget to uh, refill things. Uh, sell the sap, sell, 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 sell. I could, I could make one more heavy tapper if I had six more hardwood. What's the fastest way to get hardwood? So, like, 
without having to walk all the way to the secret woods. Is there a faster way? Ginger Island, I guess. There's some hardwood trees. There's a couple up by the slimes. Maybe some have grown at the, at the uh, dig site. I could try Ginger Island. Ooh, I'm low on wood, too. Crap. I just want to make one more heavy tapper. Got one radioactive bar. Let's make a heavy tapper out of it. Um... I don't know if it's actually going to be any faster, but it'd be more interesting, certainly. <clears throat> okay, so let's go find some hardwood. Have these trees grown up yet? They haven't. Okay, let's go to the dig site, see if those trees have grown. Yeah, see, this is the problem, is that, yes, I'm going to make a million and a half gold per harvest. This is why I need more kegs, because... Yes, I'm going to make a million and a half gold. However, I need to buy starfruit seeds. I need to buy... Um, and I'm going to have to buy wood. Even if I have all the copper and the iron that I want, I'm still going to need to buy wood. So... So, yeah. It might be possible. If I can if I can get enough kegs made, it might be possible. Fit Pro Fitness Tracker. Oh, okay, sweet. Diane has a tick watch that she really likes. She tried a Samsung gear. Um, but we ended up settling on a tick watch. From Mobvoy is the name of the company. Yeah, she really likes it. She's been enjoying that for sure. She does enjoy having the fitness tracking and whatever else. Funny story, so it's Wednesday, my dudes. So I, uh, today was way, way myself day. Um, so I weighed myself. And, uh, turns out that while I officially lost weight, it was all, we could, it was all muscle. Because <laughs> we have, we have one of those fancy scales that, like, measures your, measures the resistance through your body to measure out, like, whatever it measures. Uh, took one of the wristbands off, not fooling with it if it needs to charge. Um, so yeah, I weighed myself, and I I was down weight-wise, but now I was looking at my body muscle percentage and realizing, oh, that's why I'm down weight-wise. It's because my body, my body fat percentage went up, but I still lost weight, which basically means I have not been exercising enough. And I haven't been. Basically, like, after the two-week vacation, I have, I've barely done anything. Um... And, uh, I was going to start work working out again this week, but it was long weekend, so I didn't. And then, there we go. It was a long weekend, so I didn't. And then, uh, what's going on here? What is this? It feels like it looks like a, something, in my, something in my way here. There we go. Um... And then I was going to work out today, but I was like, well, I have my MRI. I don't want to, like, work out my shoulders or something and, and uh, be all messed up for the MRI. So, yeah. Basically, I, uh, over the past week, and I, and the funny thing about it is I ate a lot of peanut butter last week. Like, I ate a, I, what can only be described as a significant amount of peanut butter last week. So I figured I was going to be fat as a house. So imagine my shock when I saw, oh, hold on, my weight's down? And then realizing, oh, right, it's down because I've lost good stuff. I accidentally bending the door loop on a locker. The door loop on a locker. Okay, so that can go in there. All right, so now... I mean, we've got 50. I have enough. Oh, there's still the basement too, actually. Crap. I just realized. I should have put some of that starfruit wine in the casks I have in the basement. Because why not? Like, 
because it takes what two weeks or something i'll have time if i put some in the basement just you know just to you know i'm i'm i'll probably what i'll probably do with kegs is i'll finish with the house i'll finish that room up top and then i'll put some in the basement but i'll leave the casks and i'll fill up the bus road first if i even get that many who knows i probably won't um but the idea is that yeah i, I would still have casks to be able to do stuff with so yeah i, sh I might need to buy some wood though hate to do it hate to spend the money oh i should get that obelisk too actually I should, get that, I should get that last obelisk um yeah i hate buying wood i really do but I hate buying everything, so... Um... Don't think it matters at this point, but I'm only gonna plant oak. Pulls out a cask of Amont Amontillado. Anyways, yeah, I might need to buy some wood. I just don't think I'm going to have enough wood to, uh, if I get another, you know, big batch of oak resin tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to have enough wood. Okay. So this area is empty. Don't want to cut those trees down because I want the oak resin. Um, it checks cinder sap, I guess. But yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe I will check cinder sap because I want to. Let's go buy that last obelisk. Let's get that out of the way. I've got one more obelisk to buy. Let's go do that. Yeah, I should have put stuff in the casks. Edgar Allan Poe for the win. Um, I should have put stuff in the casks because is it one week or two weeks? I should check that. Let me have a look. Cask. It is two weeks. Is that worth... I mean, it's worth doing. Like, until I, until I have... I'm probably not going to hit enough kegs... To be at the point where I would... I would not want to do that. So I may as well... I mean, I've got however many kegs in the basement, like maybe 30 or 40 kegs or something. Let's just throw 30 or 40 in there. I'm still going to make the money from them. They just might be worth a hair more at the end of the games or when, they're, when they've aged. In fact, I could probably take them to Gold Star. 28 days. Because the, the next batch is going to be done on the 22nd. So I could easily let, let them get to gold quality. Easily. So, okay, what do I need for this obelisk? Let's get this obelisk done. we will be completely done crafting. We need ten, five iridium bars, ten clam, ten coral. All right, let's do it. Where am I going to put it? I think I could put it right there in front of the pomegranate tree. Although I probably won't. I'll probably just stick it some random place just to keep it out of the way. So, ten clams, boop, ten coral. Hope I have ten coral somewhere. Ten coral. Oh, I need to marry. I need to get engaged. Let's do that. Ten clams, ten coral, five five iridium bars. Is that what it said? Five iridium bars. One, two, three, five. Great. Uh, okay. Let's go see the wizard. Then we'll track down Maru and propose. Make sure I'm cutting trees down along the way. Oh, well, I think I got these ones because I went to the secret wood, but I, there are some on the south side of the pond. That, uh, that I can cut down, so I'll do that on the way back. What do you mean it's log? It's a festival day. Stardew Valley Fair is in town. Right. Okay, let's not do that today then.
scrap what wood we can. Two eighty. Okay, that's not bad. So we're back up to. Hopefully, we'll be back up to about ten kegs. Well, actually, we should be over to, over that ten kegs worth of wood. This this thirty per right? It's thirty per keg. Yeah. Starting to think I might pull this off. I keep making kegs. I mean, I can, I can make kegs right until the last week of winter, really, because if it only takes seven days in a keg, I mean, with eight days to go, I can still be making kegs and still have it be worth it. So, um, I think if I can really focus in on the oak resin, and maybe I go get more radioactive ore so I can get some, some more heavy tappers going. Maybe I do that. Yeah, you know, I gotta smelt stuff anyway. Let's head up to the mine. Let me deal with my inventory. I guess I'm mainly just selling things. I never went to see the... Well, I can't still see the wizard crap. Okay. Uh, well, let's just keep all that stuff handy before we get to the wizard. Um, five radium bars. Okay. And... I can't make any more heavy tappers because I don't have the hardwood. Uh, all right, well, let's just sell some stuff. Okay, and then let's head up to the mine. And uh, get some more stuff smelting. Oh, my triple shot just ran out. Uh, this one. Uh, you know what? Let's do some copper first. Now, you know what I need to do? While I'm here, let's do the... Let's work on the... Which baddies do I have to kill? Void spirits and rock crabs. Let's work on those guys. So while that's smelting, let's go down to level 80. How many void spirits do I have to kill? 55. That's quite a few. Let's start. Let's start killing some void spirits. There's one. Don't have any bombs on me or anything, but... There's a ladder. All I care about are void spirits. Well, I will grab this aquamarine. And I will break chests. Okay, I'm dying. Uh, dying hard and fast here. Let's eat some apricots. I have 145 of them. <laughs> so many apricots. Yike. Alrighty. I see another avoid spirit. Got him. Just not paying attention there. I also have no idea what the luck is today. Should I just kill that last slime so I can hopefully get the ladder spawning faster? There we go. <laughs> Good idea. All right. Well, there's a void spirit. a ladder. Oh, there's another Void Spirit. I want that. Missed. Ooh, got a copper bar from that. Sweet. Both of those guys. Lost count already. It's okay. Every, every little bit helps. Anything here? Oh, there is one. No 
voice. Okay, there's a rock crab there. I need a rock crab still. Very nice. Any other void spirits? Hey, oh, there's one. Great. Okay. I'll head back up. Maybe I'll just throw in some iron or something for the next batch of things. Try and grab a few more void spirits. <laughs> Rock lobster! Do, 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 do. Oh, never mind. There's a void spirit. It's nice. Okay, that's fine. That's great. I'm just gonna wait for my hammer hit to come back. The tune becomes so unforgettable. I know, right? Prismatic shard. I've had so many prismatics on this run. It's crazy. All right, 12 4, let's get out of here. Let's make moves. Guess what? They grab that while I'm here. All right. So that stuff's not going to be done until some more anyway, so let's drop off the gold. Oh, I can make one more radioactive ore. Uh, I'm going to take the fire quartz with me and sell it. Uh, anything else I want to leave here? I don't think so. I'm running low on coal, too, actually. That's not great. Hmm. <laughs> I was starting to think I, I could do this. I was starting to believe. But there's still so many things I'm going to need to buy. It's like, am, am I going to have enough kegs? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm, basically, at this point, what I'm hoping is that at the very end of everything, I'm going to have enough crops that I haven't put into kegs that hopefully I can... Um, hopefully I can... Like, hopefully that will make up the difference. That's what I'm hoping. All right, so I'm going to take this prismatic to the desert. I think I'm going to have three prismatics in the desert, so what I'll probably do on Thursday the 17th... Fall 17, buy... Uh, what's my, what should I call it? Uh, magic rock candy. Assuming I do have two in the desert right now. I'm not sure that I do, but whatever. We'll find out. All right, 1.10 a.m. Good enough. Oh, grab the diamond. Oh, no, no it's not good enough. Grab that, grab a truffle. We're going to sell this mead. 1.30, lots of time. Lots of time. Sell the mead. Sell the truffle oil. Put the jade in here. Alright, now we'll go to bed. Look at that. All the time in the world. Okay, so we made 12,000. <clears> Not the 1.4 million that I made last time, but that's okay. It all counts. It all adds up. <clears throat> all right. Queen of Sauce rerun just to be safe. I already know how to cook an omelet. Uh, fortune teller. Neutral luck. All right. Grab that. Grab ancient fruit wine. Throw that in the cask. Does it matter at this point? Probably not. Because it's going to be... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we do have some more oak resin. That's good. Sell that, sell that. Whatever. I uh, can't gift anything more right now. I just need to marry Maru. All right, let's get married. But first, let's drink a triple shot. There's stuff. There's more stuff I could sell too. Like that. I just saw a blue jazz. I don't need that anymore. Um, that can go in the fridge. A lot of the stuff can get sold, actually. In fact, I think this entire chest could get sold. Now that I think about it. But we'll do that another time. Alright, so we've got five. Let's 
good enough. It's good enough for me. Five kegs. Five star fruit. Bang bang. Oh crap. I was oh crap. I forgot I was gonna put in more um more wheat in that stinking stupid thing with the kegs and the ah. Oh well whatever. Actually Maybe I just will anyways. Oh, you know, it's only ten. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Start down here. It's not gonna be done before um the next time I harvest coffee, but I mean, who cares? Because there'll probably probably be starfruit wine kegs that are done, so I can just put coffee in those for a while and then it'll be fine. Okay. Uh, let's go get the last obelisk, and then we'll go find Maru. And we'll, uh, I'm going to do a little tree check here. See if there's a good way to move along here. Uh, so we've got one tree there, one tree there, one tree there. So I could grab those, and that is... Oh, there's one down there. I'm going to ignore that. Okay, so actually, let's take the south side of the lake. Yeah, and then we can come back to the north side. All right. Let's do it. It's three more trees and I would have had otherwise. Ooh, a, a mushroom. Yoink. Ooh, wow, timing. And there's one down there. Ooh, another mushroom. How exciting. Okay, and then one here. There we go. Great. So I'm up to, what, 374? So that's another 12 kegs. Alright, wizard. Now that you're open. Okay, let's talk about... That's the wrong one. The water obelisk is the one I was like, why does it say I need 10 iridium bars? I thought I only needed five. I do. All right, let's build this. Now I could put it there if I wanted to keep everything. Oh, there's a torch there or something. Uh, but instead I'm just gonna put it there just to get out of the way. All right. We have built all the obelisks. Now it is literally just the race for 10 million. That's it. So that being the case, I'm going to have another radioactive bar soon, so let's uh, make a point of getting this hardwood. We will gather all the hardwood. Oh my goodness. Gather all the hardwood on the farm as well. There's to be a lot of slimes out here today. It's weird. Okay, and we'll go grab all this, all the hardwood on the farm, and that should, that will definitely give us enough to make one more heavy tapper. Um, and then, so as soon as my next radioactive bar is done, bam, heavy tapper. Tappa, tappa, tappa. All right. Grab all this. Oh, we got a couple more oak resin. That's excellent. Oh, we got three more. What happened? Click. Oh, crap. I clicked out of the game, then I clicked back in and took out a tapper by accident. Whoops. That was a mistake. Alrighty. So let's go get this radioactive bar put in the furnace, because I keep forgetting to do that. So we'll head up to the mine. I guess I could have taken the obelisk right then. Uh, you know, let's get these, let's get three more kegs in first. Kegs are more important than being super efficient with, uh... Watch my columns. 
with pathing. Three there. Three up, three down. Lovely. Okay, now we'll sell some stuff. We'll go up to the mine. We'll get the radioactive ore in. And we will... Uh, just sell selling diamonds, I think. Get the radioactive ore in, and we will... Does that look good? That looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah. So, to the mine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, the radioactive ore, and I have a couple of iridium bars I can smelt as well. Um, oh, I didn't mark the water obelisk off my perfection tracker. Very happy. Goodbye crafting section. Oh, it's gone. Nice. So, so good. Uh, okay, so really... I mean, everything else, like, we're good. Oh, no. I might have sold my shrimp. I'll have to, I'll have to check. Oh, no. That would be embarrassing. I need to go check that immediately. I was got so busy trying to sell stuff, I may have sold too much stuff. Let's just go and make sure I have everything I need for all the cooking recipes, and if I don't, then I can make a point of getting that stuff. So, no, it's not there, but here... There, okay, so hopefully I have everything I need inside. So here's what I need. Okay, I do have a shrimp, thank god. Ooh, okay. So we need to have one garlic, one poppy, two tomatoes. One garlic, one poppy, two tomatoes. We need to have one coconut, one fiddlehead fern, one wild horseradish. Fiddlehead fern, horse, horseradish, need to grab coconut. Um, I may have sold all the coconuts, actually. Because this, this fridge is empty. Do I have a coconut out here somewhere? Yes, I do, okay. Throw the coconut in the fridge. Uh, some of the stuff I don't actually need for cooking recipes, but I'll leave it there anyways. Uh, crab, lingcod, and shrimp. Crab, lingcod, shrimp. Um, battery pack. Got lots. Bread. Whoops. Okay, let me make a bread. How much wheat flour do I need? I need two wheat flour, so let me make a bread. Okay. Um, one egg. I do have an egg. One iridium bar. I'll have iridium bars. Three oil. Got three oil. One sugar, two wheat flour. 23 sugar, two wheat flour. Okay. So we have everything that we need for everything. If I don't screw anything up, we'll be fine. Here's what I'm going to do. Anything that I don't specifically need. Do I need rice for anything? No. I'm going to put in the other... So I'm, what I'm going to do is leave everything in here that I need for all the cooking and all the quests. So garlic, poppy, tomatoes, crab, lingcod, shrimp, coconut, fiddlehead, horseradish, battery pack, bread, egg, three oil, wheat and sugar. Okay, great. Is there anything that can come out? I think that looks good. So everything else I'm going to put in here. So stuff I'm just kind of keeping just in case I make something else. In fact, I don't think I'm going to. I mean, I'll keep the hazelnuts, obviously. But the rice can go, can get sold. The fiddlehead can get sold. The squid ink can get sold. The cheese can get sold. Yeah. And let's throw this in here. I need to go find Maru and get engaged. Uh, so that's all good. So everything I need is in there except for like one iridium bar and a battery pack. So let me grab an iridium bar and a battery pack. Iridium bar, battery pack. Put that in the fridge as well, because, you know, you got to keep iridium bars in the fridge. Bam! So literally everything else I need to accomplish everything, including stuff I don't need to accomplish, is right there in that fridge. Beautiful. So if it's not in the fridge, I don't need it, and therefore if I don't want it for something, I can sell it. That's good news. So let's go find Maru. I was gonna so let's do that right now. No. Let's go find Maru right now, and then we'll get so then we'll sell that stuff. So let me find Maru. There's a Wednesday in fall. Room lab 
community center heads home at six. It's noon. So she's at her house right now. All right. Let's go propose. Don't need the final grant. There's Sebastian. Have to be a little bit careful. I don't want to screw this up and give it to Sebastian by accident. That would be very bad. That would be very bad. Oh, cutscene. Hey, I was hoping you'd come by. Remember when I told you about the new product I'm working on? The big one? Well, it's finally done, and I want to show it to you. I want to show you. Follow me. Okay. Where are you taking me, Mar? And what cut, which cutscene is this? Oh, here comes Demetrius. He's going to freak out. Okay, so I need to say... Um, okay, hold on a second. Let's have a look at this here. So, I need to, the first thing I need to say is I'm so impressed with your inventions. Um, Marilla is just a piece of machinery designed to act human. You have a point programmer to act human, but her neural net was so complex I can't be sure consciousness didn't emerge on its own. And I'll say, like, I was just kidding, Mar Marilda deserves her freedom. Uh, so yeah. And you say, I'm so impressed with your inventions, and that Marilda deserves her freedom. Alright, that's what I need to say. Not that it matters, I do have Max friendship with her, but... Whatever. It's, it, and here it is. Maru's Interactive Laboratory Device Alpha, or as I like to call her, Marilda. This is a sick basement, though. I've been working on her for months. I was waiting for you to be here when I activate her. It is alive! <laughs> Greetings, Maru. Greetings, Maru. No need to respond. I have already predicted what you will say. Aha, I knew it. Ah, what is it? Dad, calm down. This is my latest invention, Marilda. Greetings, Demetrius. Sweet Yoba, it talks. Sweet Yoba. This is why you've locked yourself in your room the last few months? And I thought you were down here fooling around with Paul. So what if she was? <laughs> Joke's on him, I'm about to propose. Dad, I've been making this robot for you and Mom. Marilda's designed to assist you in the laboratory and Mom at the carpentry table, so when I'm not living here anymore, it won't be such a burden on you guys. Yeah, I get wrecked, Demetrius. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Maru, but I do not want to be your servant. In the time since you activated me, I have been pondering the nature of my existence with the self-awareness module you installed in my neural cortex. So that was your first mistake. I'm sorry to disappoint you all, but I must ask for my freedom. I've decided to explore the galaxy in search of other synthetic life forms. What? Wait. Well, why did you put a self-awareness thing in her in the first place, Maru? What the heck? I should marry Leah instead. It's okay, Maru. Let Marilda go free. Your mother and I can take care of ourselves. I know you're ready to start a life of your own, and I've come to terms with the thought of not having you around anymore. Besides, this creation of yours seems pretty advanced. It wouldn't feel right to keep her as a servant. Paul, I'm sorry I mistrusted you. You're a good guy. I've never seen Maru so lively and creative, and I've never been more proud of her. If you'd had a hand in that, then you have my gratitude. Kennedy's gone. Finish smash. Okay, Marilda, let's get you out of the stuffy hole. How? Thank you for creating me, Maru. I won't forget you. You created this thing with rockets, too? Dang. Did you program a self-destruct mechanism as well? That pop it right about now. 
I can't have you, no one does. And your next sibling's not going to have a self-awareness module. Amazing he was able to climb straight up out of the atmosphere, though. No, normally you'd go at an angle to get out of the atmosphere, but must have been some pretty powerful rockets. Not want to lose friendship. Look at her go. Well, what do you think, Paul? I'm so impressed with your inventions. Thanks, that means a lot to me, Paul. I know gadgets aren't really your kind of thing, but I do appreciate that you're showing interest in what I do. I love gadgets. I wish I were, could return the favor somehow. Could marry me. Because you're easy to gift. Oh, I guess there's just one option based on the other options. How does that work? Oh, I see. If I said I'm disappointed, I would lose 50 friendship, but I could gain 50 friendship back by saying one of those two things. So really, either you get plus 50 friendship or you break even, or you get minus 100 friendship. Yike. That's crazy. All right. Sweet. All right, let's let's get engaged. For the second time in my Stardew Valley career. <laughs> Gasp. I accept. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days. 17, 18, 19, 20. I didn't screw that up, did I? Nope, we're good. All right. I'm really excited. I'm going to be your wife. <laughs> Heck yeah, girl. Now here's a question. Can I start getting the friendship up right now or do we have to wait to get married? We have to wait to get married, okay. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get married on the 20th. Um, 21st, I gotta hit the Skull Caverns. Um, oh, ooh, nice, we got some more wood. We got some more oak resin, this is awesome. She's going to be so happy she moved into a house that's absolutely chock full of kegs. Alright, can I make four more? Yeah, I can. Four more kegs. Alright, so let's go to the mine. Let's... I feel like there are some trees I could plant here, aren't there? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, let's go to the mine. We will... Um, put something in the furnaces. I imagine we can put something in there by now. Uh, and then we will head back to the farm, put these four kegs down, get some star fruit in them. Talk I was wondering if Demetrius would have some dialogue um, about marrying Maru, but I guess not. Sorry, I just saw these trees. I gotta get these trees too. Okay. All right, so... Every piece of wood I get is one less piece of wood that I'll have to buy later. So it's kind of worth it. Because now it's like... Especially now that I've actually... Um, now that I've actually bought all the obelisks, which is awesome, um, now it is really just like every penny I spend is one less penny I have to buy. It's one less penny I have to buy uh, the golden clock with. Okay, so this room is done. Actually, I can put one more keg in there. Uh, so one more keg, and then, then this room is done. Um, so let's just put a keg in there right now. So that I know for sure this room is done. There we go. Grab one more star fruit. Oh, I missed a couple of kegs right there too, actually. Oh, and some stuff's finishing over there too, okay. Uh, boop. Actually, you know what? I, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to believe. Starting to believe. I'm starting to believe because I'm realizing that I... So I made one and a half million. 
which is great. Um, but I didn't actually sell things from all of my kegs. You know what I mean? Like, because right now I've got 574 kegs. Um, take minus, say, 10. So let's say I've got 560. 560 times 3150 is actually 1.7. And I've got... I should have a full, like, one, two, three, four, five harvests. So that times five is 8 million. 8.8 .8 million. Missed that one, too. Um, so, really, between selling all the stuff and whatever... I've got a decent chance. I think I've got a decent chance. In spite of all my screw-ups and everything, I think I have a decent shot at uh, pulling this off. Okay, it's 420, just blaze. So let's go back to the mine, and I guess we'll do some... Uh, oops, I'm gonna close some windows. I've got way too, way too many windows open right now. Let me reload my checkup, actually. I'm so glad I didn't screw up that marriage proposal, dude, on the wrong day. And Okay, so we got to kill 40 void spirits, 15 rock crabs. Everything else is in the skull cavern. So let's go up to the mine. We'll do some void spirit killing. We'll do some smelting. We'll do some whatever else, the, the sum we're going to do. Uh, I'm down to 30 coal. Ooh, I'm gonna need to buy some more coal soon. There's some copper, though. Actually, it's more my health I'm worried about. Oh. Oh my goodness. Ah, wrong tool. There we go. Probably eat something. Like, I'm pretty confident about killing all the baddies I need to kill. Um... Especially if I can put a good dent into these, just to the Void Spirits. You know, I'm wondering... I'm wondering... If I should put the mine back to easy mode. Yikes for Calgary Stampede stats? What are the Calgary Stampede stats? Time to run away. I got slime, that's okay. Keep running, keep running. There we go. Omni, very nice. Triple shot. Like, is it really worth continuing to try to get heavy tapper? I guess it kind of is. Oops. Kind of is worth it. At least 129 caught COVID. Sweet. Yeah, it is interesting to see, like, now that so many people have been vaccinated, you know, things are opening up again, which is great. I'm one of the vaccinated people, Pfizer fan for life. Um, but now all the people who aren't vaccinated are, like, catching cases. Cases are actually going up again. At least, at least in my jurisdiction they are. Um, because again, things are opening up, but the pandemic didn't actually stop, and not everyone got vaccinated, so... Those who refused, there wasn't anything up in the news. Yeah, it's very true. That is very true. 
Another copper bar. I feel like these guys are faster in hard mode too. I feel like that's a thing. All right, so let's throw some more bars in. Only got 30 coal left. That's real not great. That is real not great. Don't know what I can do, but I mean, I could just buy coal, I guess. But past that, there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a part of it. Okay, I got three coal there. A little bit helps. Can't get this guy almost oh, crap. Right, I might just eat those. How many covidians? I might just eat these uh, things. Here's what I'll say about people who are skeptical of the COVID vaccine or the COVID vaccines. It's okay to be skeptical. Because if you're skeptical, you'll still look, you know, if you have a question about it, if you have a concern about it, you're still going to look and you're still going to, you know, find the answers to your questions. You're going to say, oh, I don't like how quickly it was developed. Okay, well, let's talk about that, right? Let's talk about how was it developed so quickly and does that, does it, is it still safe as a result, right? So we can talk about that, right? We can, we can look up the... Uh, the information that shows why it was developed quickly and how and whatever. Um, no big, no problem. Oh, I got a lot of stuff in that one. Oh, the rock crab, I need that. Very nice. Um, but there's a difference between being just being skeptical and being, being an asshole. So, and that's kind of the key difference is that there are people who say, oh, I'm, I'm skeptical. No, you're not. You're just being a selfish prick. Is really all that is. It has nothing to do with skepticism. So. Don't see any other baddies, so I'll just grab this. We'll head back up. Put some more stuff in the furnaces. Let's maybe throw in, you know, let's keep throwing in copper for now. Or not. So we're out of copper at long last. Got 69 copper bars. Nice. Down to 26 coal. Definitely gonna have to buy some coal. Dang. Uh, all right, because the a-hole's real. I mean, yeah. You know, I just don't, uh... You know, it's pretty surprising. Oh, don't, oh crap. I'm gonna die. That was close. Let's eat the strange bun. Probably should have eaten the strange bun first, actually. That was a little bit foolish, but oh well. Yeah, it's actually pretty surprising, just like... <laughs> it's kind of funny because... Well, anyways, you know what? Forget it. The, the, the thing about it is you're not gonna, someone who's being an asshole about it, you're not going to convince them to not be an asshole about it. So it's like, you know what? Okay. That's really all it comes down to. You're not going to convince somebody who isn't, you're not going to be able to convince someone with logical arguments if they're not thinking logically. So... Get off this level, I think. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Still stuck. Now I'm really dead. Uh, apricots. Let's get my health back up to at least half or something. Alright. So, we you know, we're making a bit of a dent in these, in these void spirits, so that's good. Oof, there's so much gold here, actually. I kind of want to just bomb it. Can I make a bomb with anything I have right now? can. Give me one of those. I hate to use the- oh crap, I had two bombs! Dang it! Burn through iron for no reason. Oops. 
Oops. Oh my goodness. Just want to avoid spirits. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Uh, you know what? I'm going to abort, I think. There was a rock crab there I really wanted, but health is super low. Don't want to take any stupid chances. All right, so we're down to 21 coal. Yike. Um, I guess I could keep the ore on me, why not? I will leave that behind. And, ooh. Maybe I'll throw some... Oh, I can't. Crap. Okay, I'll throw the radioactive ore in tomorrow. I have enough to make one more heavy tapper, so we'll do that. Um, I think everything else could probably come back with me. I'm going to see if I can get away with this without drinking another triple shot. Not that it matters, honestly. I've got so much. Let's just drink it. I was reading a simple thing. It said, let your reasonableness be known to everyone. Yeah, why not? Okay, so... Let's sell... Let me just sell the essence. I'm pretty sure I have lots of essences in the desert to make mega bombs. So I probably don't need to keep those. Um, anything else I want to sell? Probably sell those. That all looks pretty good. Let's go into here, drop off the bombs, the rubies, omni. Um, that's about it for that. Go over to here. Drop off the gold bars. Um... I think I can make another uh, tree fertilizer. I could probably sell this dragon tooth too, actually, now that I think about it. And the clay. I don't think I need clay for anything, do I? What do you need clay for? Um, if I wanted to make fiber seeds, and I don't, so I was going to sell the clay. I will keep the hardwood. The pine tar... I'm going to keep some pine tar in case I want... Oh, well, hold on. Do I want to have pine tar? Do I want to make it rain for any reason? I don't see why I would need to. If I had been smart, I would have thought about make, using a rain totem the day I planted those... Or put down those four new sprinklers, because I wouldn't have had to water those sprinklers. Whoops. Um, so I'll keep, like... Five. Don't need all this bug meat. Don't need all the sap. What do we have? Grass starter, void eggs can go. This coconut I don't need out because it's out here. Sunflower I don't need. Um, that stuff can take you gone. All this stuff. A lot of this stuff. Deluxe speed grow? Why, why is it here? Crap. I went and... Why is that here? Oh, well, whatever. Um, that stuff I'm going to hang on to. I'll process what I can. Anything I want to sell in here? I might just sell all those. I'm only going to replant oak. Could probably sell the cookout kit. Oh, I need to deal with those geos. Maybe I'll do that sometime. Sell the wild bait. Cork bobber, trap bobber. Inventory is full. Let's sell some stuff here. Okay, so let's sell cork bobber, wild bait, cookout kit, bug meat, sap, void eggs. I guess I could make that into void mayonnaise. Make a bit more money off of it. Sell the sunflower, trap bobbers, grass starter, maple seeds, clay, dragon tooth, five pine tar. Uh, let me put these guys in there. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll make that into void mayo. Be worth a little tiny bit more. I was going to sell the pine cones as well. And I'm going to put the... Iridium bars in there. Now, I do have five Iridium bars. Should I upgrade a two? Would it be worth it to, like, upgrade my pickaxe? Probably not, because I'll be without it for three days. And I'm at a point now where I can be in a mine every day. Should I upgrade my axe? Have to upgrade it to gold first. Is that worth doing? It may not be worth... I don't think it's worth doing. 
Honestly, I think I'd rather have the money from selling them. I won't sell them now, but I think I'd just rather have the money from for selling them. Uh, quick look in here. Is there anything I want to keep? I was going to hang out of these 12 potatoes in case I get that Pam quest. Am I going to want to spare 12 kegs for Pam? I don't know. Because potato makes juice, but juice takes three days. So... Four days. Might just sell them. Uh, so let's definitely sell those. Maybe I'll put like the melons in the... Um... Like the melons I could probably throw into a thing. Into a... Whatchamacallit? Preserve jar. Um... I think the rest of the stuff I'm just going to sell as is. Yeah. Let's just sell it. So, sturgeon, eel, sweet pea, potatoes, leeks, not the hazelnut, cave carrots, crystal fruit, bat apricot, crocus, blue jazz, spice berry. Okay. Sweet. Looking good. Let's go to bed. Oh, do I have another truffle? I don't have another truffle right now. Got through all the truffles. Crazy. It's made. Oh, nice. Almost made 100,000 that day. Oh, I did make 100,000 that day. Nice. 102,000. Excellent. Excellent. Every little bit helps. This is good. It is Thursday. Luck is best luck on Thursday the 18th. Do I do a Skull Cavern run today? I think I do. I'm a dumbass. I didn't buy the rock candy yesterday. Crap. Ugh, that's annoying. Oh, well, whatever. It is best luck, though. So maybe what I'll do is I'll make myself some ginger ale. 12. Uh, foolish. Yep, that was a mistake. Oh, I just got an iron bar. Very nice. Uh, okay, so I made some ginger ale. That's going to give me some luck. So I'll do ginger ale for luck. I'll do spicy eel for luck. It's best luck day. It's got to be good, right? Gonna check a screenshot. Just to make sure I'm not missing any oak resin. I'm miss oh and I'm not missing any down there. Oh yeah, I got, I got a mushroom uh, mushroom tree. Uh, but I've got four up there I can get. So let's grab those four. Stuck. Still stuck. There we go. Nope. There we go. Nope. There we go. That's four. All right, let's go into here. Deal with the greenhouse. Star fruit's growing. Oh, we have another ancient fruit there, too. We'll throw that in the keg as well. Okay, uh, so how many kegs can I make? Can I, can I make 11? Not quite. I can make nine. So I need wood. So let's go see if we can find some wood. Just so I can make the 11, make my full 11 kegs. Don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, oh, t uh, mountain totem, sweet. This is kind of, I don't know if this is a waste of time. I just really want enough to make two more kegs. Don't have any acorns on me. Whoops. That's okay. Not a problem. We'll just plant pine cones. Do I have 60? 59. There we go. Two more kegs. Very nice. 
All right, back to the house. Yep. Back to the house. We'll get the kegs down. Um, should I put... If I go to the desert, I'm coming back here afterwards. So... How do I want to do this? Do I want to just put the coffee in the kegs right now? Or do I not want to do that? That is the question. Whoops. I mean, yeah, let's do that. Alright, so let's sell the hot pepper jelly. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Um, let's just sell that. I was going to make more stuff. I should just bring the mayo... Oh, I just realized my maintenance machine was in my coop and I destroyed the coop. So I probably lost everything that was in the coop. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so let's sell the void eggs. Um, let's make another heavy tapper. Whoops, should have done that sooner. Let's get this on a tree somewhere. So all those trees. Look, I'll just put it down here, I guess. And then I think there's another tree in here somewhere that does not have a tapper on it. There we go. Blew the coop. Yeah, that was... Whoops. No big deal. Uh, okay, and then let's go inside the house. We'll put these kegs down. Oh, look. The, I've still got other stuff in the kegs anyways. So... Oh, just finished. Look at that. Beautiful timing. Okay, so, let's do this. Grab one of those, grab two of those, grab one of those. Alright. So, I'm probably... Well, I might just... Hmm. Missed one. Oh my goodness, there we go. I might start putting kegs down here, I guess. So this is the last place for them, so let's uh, do this. Oh, I can't put any more there? Alright, that's fine then. Alright, let's start throwing, putting kegs in the basement. Huh. Interesting. Can't put keg on the stairs anymore. Alright, that's fine. Can't put a keg there, put one there. Now, I could put coffee in these kegs, but they're kind of in the basement and out of sight, so I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to put starfruit right in those. There we go. All right, we'll just hang on to the coffee beans for now, or I'll just put the coffee beans in this chest here and deal with them later. All right, so kind of a waste of a day, but we are going to head to the desert. Mother Muffin, I forgot to put that ancient fruit wine in. There is a keg down here in the corner that I missed, though, so let's do that. Alright, so let's drop off that. Um, I think we're done in here. Let's put that in there. Grab everything we're taking to the desert. I love the bounce effect on the brewery barrels. It's nice, isn't it? It's so... everything about this game is just so aesthetically pleasing. So good. This all looks good. Let's just sell a couple of things. Such as the beer. The sap. Uber chill game? Very much so. Should probably clean out my inventory. Really, I'm not going to the Skull Cavern. <clears throat> I, need to, I need to stress out less. Because <clears throat> I'm not going to the Skull Cavern. Um... For... What am I not going to the Skull Cavern for? I'm not going to the Skull Cavern to like for like doing like an Iridium run or something like that. I'm really just doing the Skull Cavern to kill baddies. That's what I need to do. It just happens to be a good day to do that, and I need a ton of serpents yet. So, so we got some food. Everything else is coming with me to the desert. All right, let's go to the desert. I'm just gonna use this desert totem because I have it, and why not? 
All right, let's go this way. We'll stop by the... Oh, I guess I could probably... Get over the chest first. Can't buy any of those. I only have two rubies. I'm not going to worry about that. All right, leave that in there. I do have three prismatics now, so that's good. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's grab all of the food stuffs. I'm not, I don't want to use the magic rock candy today because it's... Such a, like, it's already level 20. I mean, I could use that for plus three luck, but I'm also going to be using ginger ale for luck, so... Nah, let's just use the spicy meal, I guess. Take three of those, maybe. Uh, maybe two, because I'm going to be trying to, trying to kill baddies. Grab the bomb, staircases, and then as much food as I dare. That's lots. Alright, let's get the inventory organized here. Staircases go there. Gonna do some bombs. Um... We'll leave the spicy eel there. Triple shot there. Actually, let's put the triple shot there. Then spicy eel, then apricots. Stone can go down there. Uh, and then we're going to eat the fiddlehead first. Then pr probably... Oh, no, not... Actually, not triple shot. We want the ginger ale for extra luck. And then, I don't know, the blackberry cobbler maybe or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out from there. Or purple mushroom or something. Something like that. All right, this should be fine. Let's, let's go into the mines. So right before I go into the mines, I'm going to eat a spicy eel. Drink a ginger ale. It's going to remove the one speed, but it will give me luck. Are you serious? The very first level is a monster level? Okay, serpent. That's what I need. Kill these guys. And what else am I looking for? Mummies, I guess. That serpent being an absolute hater and not uh, chasing me. Got some iridium there, that was nice. Oh, there's a ladder. I was, gonna, I was just about to say, I'm hoping to get a ladder, but... Kill that mummy. Got a ladder. I see a diamond. I'll take that. I see a jade. I see some coal. That's huge, actually. Considering how short I am on coal right now, that's, that's a big deal. going. Things are going pretty well. I might just bomb this, actually. Oh, we got a serpent coming. Excellent. That's exactly what I need. Uh, I'm going to bomb this, I think. Let's just put a bomb there or something. Another serpent. Beautiful. And we got a ladder. And we got another ladder. Very nice. Just saw the aqua ring. Oh, there's a thingy there, too. Okay, so my inventory is full, so let's start eating stuff. That looks good. Next is going to be the purple mushroom. I'll just eat it. Why not? Why the heck not? The death sound that my makes us disappointed. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not angry, just disappointed. There we go. Need to kill so many more of those serpents. Oh, drop shaft, I'll take that. Hmm. Oh, nice, got a miner's treat there. Uh, let's eat something. Actually, let's start throwing stuff away. But miner's treat gives me mining and magnetism, so I don't think I want to do that. Anything else I can eat right now? I think the next lowest thing is the silver quality purple mushrooms. Oh, I guess I'm the blackberry cobbler, so I could do that next. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's eat the blackberry cobbler next. Drop shaft. Oh, crap. 
I just see a mummy I really want to get. There we go. Five levels. Gotta watch my health. My inventory's full. Eat that. Uh, hmm. I guess I could bomb it. There's a ladder. Let's take that. Oh, serpent. Perfect. Lovely. May as well grab some of the stuff while I'm here. Hey, serpent, come try and kill me. Or despawn. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I guess technically it is a good luck day, so I mean... If I'm lucky, I'll be down under a hundred serpents left to kill by the end of this day. Ladder. Ladder. Bueller. Bueller. There we go. Drop shaft, I'll take it. Six levels, very nice. Got some iridium there, let me eat my blackberry cobbler. Is this actually iridium or is it a crab? It's actually iridium, sweet. Wow, there's a lot of baddies on this level that I can't kill. At least there aren't very many rocks, that's good news. I should probably be using ladders more, actually. Well, maybe not, because at some point I might need to do a, a Skull Cavern run for Iridium, so I should probably hang on to those if I, if I can. Drop Shaft, nice. Let me get this mummy. Uh, let me just screenshot, see if there are any other mummies on this level. There are not, so let's take the Mine Shaft. Another four levels, I'll take it. Oh, I hear a serpent. Come at me, bro. And there's a mummy as well. I'm so glad I got, I got super lucky with that. Um, with that enchantment on my hammer. <clears throat> Getting the one that kills mummies without having to bomb them. Like, that's a crab. I need to kill more crabs. Uh, anyways, yeah, super useful. Super awesome. Oh, I have one of my luck is about to run out. One of my lucks. Just gonna take my time and kill this guy. There we go. Um, anything I want to get rid of? Earth crystal, cloth, and let me start eating some one-off things. Oh, no, my health is really high, though. Um, I mean, should I have got rid of the cloth? Perhaps not. Oh, well, too late. Okay, and then we're going to do that. Kill that crab. Ooh, crab cakes. Crab cakes are good. All right. Looking for a ladder. Avoiding the slime. Just don't want to mess with it. Can't be bothered. Again, I don't want to use... I mean, I am just trying to kill baddies right now, so I don't really want to use staircases if I can all, if I can all avoid it. Unlike that first level where it was like, yay, it's a baddie level. Mummy, aw, dies. Ooh. There might be a whole bunch of serpents coming for me. That's good. 
Never been happier. Let's head for the exit, though. I'm gonna let all these guys come to me. Oh, I should probably eat something, though. Um, let's drink another ginger ale. And let's go for the coleslaw, maybe? Ah, uh, stir fry. more? Oh, wow, another one. This is awesome. It's exactly what I need. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, I hear one more. Thought I heard one more. Did I not? Oh, maybe, maybe that was a death noise. Inventory's full. Guess I'll sell the red mushroom. At least I have a gold, um... At least I have a gold thing. A gold garbage can. Is there anything here I want to kill? Seems suspiciously quiet. There's literally nothing on this level, so I guess I'll just start breaking rocks, find a ladder. There's a ladder. Uh, let's do some bombing. I've got 60 bombs. Let's use them. Oh, my, my triple shot just ran out. Yeah, we got a drop shot. Nice. So let's eat, or not my triple shot, my spicy eel. So we'll have a spicy eel right now. That, in theory, should last me to the end of the day. Psych! Freaking juked him. Juked him out of his skin. Juked him out of his slime. I may as well grab this iron while I'm here. Okay, anything I care about. There's a bit of iron down there. Not going down there for that. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it, actually. Oh, drop shaft. Excellent. At least I'm getting some good drop shafts. That's good. Oh, and there's a Pepper Rex there. That's awesome. I need to aggro these serpents, though. I really need these serpents to come after me. That helped. There's wood there. I really want that. Alright, uh, what can I get rid of? Let's sell... Um, the aquamarine. Bone fragments can go. I should eat something. Let's eat the coleslaw. Probably the light coleslaw, but whatever. I should be able to grab this iridium while I'm here, to be honest. Like, why not? Oh, and we got a ladder. That's awesome. All right, let's kill this Pepper Rex. I still need some of these. And we got more Iridium. So I'm just going to eat these, because why not? And then we will get rid of that, get rid of that. What's the next thing I'm eating? Probably fruit salad? No. Rhubarb pie is 215. Radish salad is 200. And I guess that's... I could eat the... Well, I got two purple mushrooms, so I'd rather eat the one-offs. Getting some iridium. Getting some other stuff. This is actually going pretty well. Here's some mummies, which is awesome. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff, because that selling that cloth is gonna be worth a little bit. Get rid of the refined quartz as well. This is actually going pretty stinking well, I'm not gonna lie. Let's 
Seems like it's going pretty well. We're getting some bad, getting some coal. I'm up to 28 coal now, so that's good. We got another mummy, at least one. And a ladder. Nice quick ladder there. We're getting some decent ore. There's some more coal. Super clutch. All right, what do we have here? Serpent, nice. Ladder. Diamond, serpent. It's 10.30 p.m. I do have to keep a little bit of an eye on the time. Because I don't want to get stuck here. I do want to get back to the house and put... Actually, yeah, I need to make sure I get back in time because I'm, I need to put some... Um, I want to put more star fruit in those kegs. Or I thought I did put star fruit in the kegs. Did I not put star fruit in the kegs? Can't remember. Oh my goodness. Hoping I get a drop shaft. Did not. Alright, I might use a ladder on this level. I'll grab this iridium and then. If I don't get a, a ladder here somewhere. Nope, alright. Let's get out of here. Okay, give me like some serpent or something. And the good news is I'm getting lots of ore. You know what, I might just go grab all those uh, barrels and things. Might be something interesting in there. Oh, all right, let's grab these guys. Anything, got a couple coal, so worth it. All right, let's take that drop shaft, kill whatever we find, and then we'll get out of here. It's midnight. Five levels. What level did we get to? Level 60? Not too bad. Oh, there's a serpent. Very nice. There's two serpents, actually. There's two more serpents killed. Got a bit more iridium. Another prismatic. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Uh, let's get rid of... Red mushroom. There's a little bit of wood. Oh, so good. Paul will be performing our Roosevelt on the cave wildlife. <laughs> All right. Sweet. So that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. We got a lot done there. Got some good stuff. We got, what, 42 iridium? I mean, hey, I'll take that. All right, let's start dropping off the food. Take the minus treat back with me. That can stay. That can stay. The crab cakes can come back. The jades can stay here. Omnis can stay here. Prismatic may as well stay here. Pink cake. Those mushrooms. Ginger ale. Bombs and stairs. Got a bunch of stone there. That's good. Uh, ruby. Anything else staying here? Essences. Is, is, is. Well, I'm going to sell a bunch of these essences, I think. Um... Should be it. Yeah, should be good. All right, so quickly back to the do. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I need to do. I'm just gonna double check the keg situation. Just make sure that I do have as many kegs as possible. Processing. Because I think I put star fruit in the basement, but I also think I have some coffee I can I can process. Let me take another screenshot of the farm, see if any more oak resin finished. I don't think it will have. I think it all, it all finishes in the morning now. Got three truffles over there. Uh, Alright. So, don't have time to get to the mine. But I do have time to get this coffee in these kegs. Lovely. Three more triple shot. Put the coffee in there. Grab the jade. So, jade can go there. Um, emeralds can get sold. 
Those can go in there. I might just, I'm gonna end up selling a lot of the stuff, I think, a lot of this food. Crab cakes, I got eight crab cakes, that's so good. Uh, well, let's sell a couple things here. I'm gonna sell the emeralds, sell the void and I'm gonna sell the diamonds too, actually. 110. I might have time to get to the mine. Let's find out. Uh, let me drink a triple shot, though. That'll help me speed up a little bit. We've got a minute 48 left on... my uh, spicy eel, so that's good. So what should I put in? Iron, copper, iridium? Put in the iridium overnight, I guess. Oh, hold on. Aha! That first. So, first things first. That. Then we'll throw in whatever iridium we can. That's it. Sweet. Okay. I missed one. Let's put in a, an iron. Missed it again. All right. Now let's see if we can get back to the house in time. I should be fine, I think. 140. Lots of time. 150. Lots of time. Lots of time to get in the house. Look at that. Even even got into bed. Look at that. What are we even talking about? All right, let's do a quick little review. Let's see what we have going on. What was that? Get rid of you. All right, so it's Friday. I'm an idiot. I thought that yesterday was Friday, which is why I didn't get the tr the the magic rock candy. But yesterday was Thursday. I totally got the magic. Crap. Oh well, whatever. The luck for today is good luck. Okay. Let's do a quick check on the farm. See what we have going on. We'll just look at the screenshot, I guess. So we've got two oak resin. Pumpkins are done. Was that on my schedule? Yes, pumpkins. Okay, so let's get some stuff ready for next time because I am just not looking at things. Um, so, kegs, obviously. Uh, pumpkins. I'm going to say south pumpkins are done. Need to get those, re need to get those replanted today. Um, on the 21st, we're looking at getting more skull caverns. 24th, we got to head back to Ginger Island, get the Ginger Island uh, star fruit. And then the good news is, after the 28th, at least I'll have, I mean, is it good news I'm going to have less crops to worry about? I don't know. It'll depend on the money situation. Um, but let's have a look at this, though. So how many baddies did I actually kill? So I'm going to reload this. Monster hunting. All right, so... I, w I was at 40 Void Spirits, now I'm at 3. I only need 3 more Void Spirits. I didn't get any more any more Pepper... I got 1 Pepper Rex, so I need 7 more Pepper Rexes, but that one, I mean, give me 1 Pepper Rex level, which I should have on the 21st, I believe. Yeah. So on, that's going to be level 7, so it's going to be super easy to get to. Um, so that should take care of Pepper Rexes. So, that, so I got 3 Void Spirits, I mean, that's, you know, easy, easy. Easy peasy. The rock crab is going to be a little bit of RNG. Hopefully I'll be able to get a couple when I do the void spirits. I'll just have to keep an eye out for them, basically. Um, so pepper rexes I'm not worried about. Rock crab I'm not worried about. Void spirits I'm not worried about. And then it's just grinding out more mummies and serpents is really all it is. Um, beyond that, if we, look, if we look at our perfection tracker, we now have all the obelisks, which is awesome. Um... So I just need to finish gifting Kent. I mean, this is literally all I need for perfection now, is finish gifting Kent. Um, we'll have to gift Maru, but again, that'll be easy because I can give her a gift every day. Um, so finish gifting Kent. The recipes have to wait on for time. Make sure I get Maru up to 14 or 13 and a half hearts so I can get the star drop. The Monster Slayer hero is just a bit of a grind, no worries. So yeah, we're still just on that, uh, we're still just chasing that cash. 
We're still just chasing that cat. Oh, Pan needs a battery pack. That's good. We can do that. Um, yeah, so next day in game. So South Pumpkins and I will get those pumpkins replanted. We'll look for more kegs. We'll give Pam a battery. Uh, that'll get rid of that quest. And yeah, then um, just grind out some more kegs and hopefully we can make enough money to get the gold clock. That's really the last, That that is the last thing I don't know for sure I can do. Everything else I, I'm confident I can do, the gold clock, we'll see. But that is the plan for next time.